Hello friends, hope you had great Easter. I figured it would be pretty cool to show you a little comparison between non-compensating euphoniums and compensating euphoniums and what areas are particularly affected as you jump around between different price ranges. So let me know what you think about this video as well as leave a comment down below letting me know which euphonium do you think is the best bang for your buck. That being said, I wanted to give a big shout out to my patrons for continuously supporting the channel. I cannot emphasize how much I appreciate it, so thank you so much, friends. If you'd like to join uh, the ranks of my patrons, uh, head to patreon.com slash matonis. You will receive cool perks such as sheet music to pieces I used in this video, different arrangements, educational materials, bonus videos, clothing, and mp3 tracks. You could also help me out tremendously by giving this video a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends and of course subscribing if you haven't already and making sure you click that notification button for all the latest news and updates. This upcoming Wednesday I'll be doing a live uh, learning session of a brand new arrangement of Hall Second Suite in F. It's a new arrangement, super cool arrangement, uh, ran for four euphoniums and two tubas. So this upcoming Wednesday, join me live if you'd like to pick uh, my brain in regards to how I analyze and practice all my pieces. Uh, this upcoming Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join me and my colleague Mike. We will answer all of your questions. So make sure to mark those two days in your calendar and I will see you all shortly, friends. Take care, stay safe, stay well. Ha, ha, ha.